I'm Sonaya. I'm sitting here with Darima. Hello, everybody. <laughs> uh, and we decided to do kind of online lecture or interview with Darima because Darima should have had a workshop about Tibetan medicine in Tibet Open House. But because of all of this uh, coronavirus special situation, we decided to stay at home and to give you all the information this way. So, Darima, can you tell us a few words about yourself and why are you in Prague? Uh, I will tell you with pleasure. Uh, now I'm here in Prague because two years ago we started with Tibet Open House one project to introduce people the science of five medicine, which is basic thing in Tibetan medicine. And in the beginning, I want to introduce shortly. I will try to do it shortly myself. And my name is Darima Baljinimaeva. I'm originally from Buryatia. And um, I studied Tibetan medicine actually not very traditional way uh, for Western people. So first I studied Western medicine at the university. When I started uh, university studies, that was Soviet Union period. So all borders were closed and we didn't have any opportunity to go abroad to study. And uh, not many MGs we had at that time in our country, in our place. So it was uh, really just very challenging. But since my early childhood, I all the time were, was thinking about this Tibetan medicine. Because traditionally it was in my family, all my ancestors were MGs the doctors of Tibetan medicine. Mm -hmm. So, and when I was finishing my internship in internal medicine, at that time I got the news that one Buryat MG uh, was looking for students. Mm -hmm. So I was very happy with it to get this news and immediately I went to him to uh, ask him to have me as a student. So, and I was accepted. Mm -hmm. I was very lucky. And uh, the name of my teacher is Lama Chimit Dorje Dugarov. He's now very famous uh, in Buryatia, in Russia, and even in, in the West. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I studied with him for nine years. Tibetan medicine, and um, still we are working together, still, still now. And um, then uh, I also had one teacher in, from Mongolia also, he was Lama, MC Lama. And then I, um, when I worked at the Center of Oriental Medicine in Ulanode, I got a chance to go to Menzikan, to Dharmasala, and also had studies for half of a year. And so this is, but anyway, so I, I studied for a long time, but anyway, all the life I am studying, studying, mm -hmm. this is uh, endless studies mm -hmm. all the time. That's it? That's your story? That's my story. Yeah. It's short, short story. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but, and why are you actually in Prague? Somebody invited you, Tibet Open House invited you? Yeah, I'm here because Tibet Open House invited me to give lectures mm -hmm. uh, on science of five elements. Mm -hmm. And as I said before, this is the basic principles of Tibetan medicine. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us about these basics? So we are human beings, we are part of the nature. The nature... Um, um, the, all our nature, including our bodies, are formed with these uh, elements, from these elements, from these five elements, which are earth, water, fire, uh, air, 
and everything is inside of the space. Uh, so actually these four elements, basic four elements, which, are, which form our nature and our bodies as well. So, and these four elements are like changing within the year mm -hmm. all the time. So this is, uh, this is natural law. And uh, since it's natural law, our bodies also uh, like go according to the, this law mm -hmm. because we are part of this nature. Mm -hmm. So actually the aim of Tibetan medicine uh, not to treat, but of course it's very good in treatment many diseases, uh, especially chronic diseases, mm -hmm. internal diseases. But the main idea of this medicine, of this science of five elements, are to prevent diseases, mm -hmm. to keep body healthy, and during, balanced. And bala mm -hmm. balanced, yes. So if we keep the balance of these uh, elements mm -hmm. uh, within the year and uh, each year during the whole life so we can be healthy our whole life mm -hmm. with, we can live without any disease without any problems so this is the main idea if we will follow this uh, rule natural rule we can prevent many diseases we can prevent even infectious diseases mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so because when we keep the, our body balanced that means that our body uh, is strong our body the immune system is strong enough to fight different infectious mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. actually um, we have so many infection inside the body so different bacteria, mm -hmm. viruses, there are millions or even maybe billions, nobody knows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because many of them we still don't know. And when uh, scientists discover something new, actually it doesn't mean that it's new for us. Mm -hmm. It's new for the science, mm -hmm. but not for us, for the body, because we used to live with these uh, bacteria millions of years. Mm -hmm. So the, the idea is to make our body more balanced, which will make our body strong and the immune system will be strong. Mm -hmm. The idea is not to get this infectious like arise. Like, yeah, yeah. Um, and these, these elements the combination or the balance of these elements changes throughout the year and every season, right? Yes, It's like exactly. during spring, it's different when during summer and so on. Yes, Is it right? yes, you are right. So these four elements all the time is changing. And even during the one day, it's, like, it's not stable. It never could be stable in the body. It's always like uh, going up and down, uh, and um, but when it's like uh, we can we should understand that this system, these elements are not stable. That they are dynamic, dynamic all the time. Um, but we should not allow them to fight. Mm -hmm. Dynamic is, is okay but we should not allow them to fight. Mm -hmm. When fight starts, so disease starts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Darima, how should we take care of our body during springtime? Uh, okay, so spring is the time when uh, our flame, our heavy elements of earth and water um, goes up all the time. Uh, but our body become more heavy, but not because of earth, but because of water. To understand it, we should go a little bit back to winter, because winter is the time when uh, these two elements like arise and become more active. But on the one hand, uh, it's 
like mm, it make our bodies more like little bit heavy but on the other hand uh, we get a chance every year every winter we uh, get a chance to make our body very strong because our earth element is the basic element of our body of our physical body or the basic element of each cell of the body in winter uh, even these two elements arise earth and water at the same at the same time fire is uh, arise every mm -hmm. winter so that's why it allows to digest a uh, heavy food because only in winter we can eat heavy foods and it will be digest easily mm -hmm. and um, only in winter uh, earth elements also all macro and micro elements are included in this earth element actually and this even though all vitamins all um, like uh, we consider it like um, healthy for the body to make body strong we should use in winter time to make our body strong even our muscles our, bo our bones all the body immune system also based on these elements so combination and um, winter is uh, the the best time to mm. make our body strong mm. to make our immune system strong winter is the best time but on the other hand during the winter this water element uh, become a little bit freezed so but it's freezed uh, differently in different places in the most cold place of course it's like become like strong ice in more warm places it's a little bit freeze but anyway everywhere in the like north part of our planet it's become um, we can call it like it's a little bit iced water become little like like ice so and uh, how much ice we will like collect in our body depends on this fire and how much ice or uh, we will collect in the winter also depends on our food so normally in winter we should have more heavy warm heavy oily food to make our body strong and this fire allow to digest it mm -hmm. help to digest it if we don't eat heavy oily warm food another element like wind arise this element uh, will little bit press down others mm -hmm. like fire and not allow to digest uh, this food mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so when we have in winter time for example if we have habits like um, short sleep mm -hmm. short sleep in the, during the night or if someone go to the bed to go to sleep very late very late and uh, wake up early so it's and drink a lot of coffee a lot of cold drinks uh, eat a lot like snacks junk food so this wind element always will like arise and will um uh, will go like work opposite to the digestive mm -hmm. system it will not allow to digest and and to get um the nutrition nutrition to the body but also if we eat not eat eat wrong nothing like uh, collect from this food mm -hmm. nothing take from this yeah. food yeah. so and uh, and this wind will freeze the water mm -hmm. the more wind we have do you in the winter the more water will be freezed mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what way do you live in the very cold uh, environment or in more warm like mm -hmm. Czech Republic mm -hmm. 
-hmm. It's of course it's much warmer than in Siberia, but anyway, winter you have winter here. Mm -hmm. So anyway, if you have a lot of wind, this water will be freezed. Mm -hmm. And so now we'll go to go back to spring time. So in the springs, when sun sun starts uh, uh, sun starts shine very brightly, it's become more warm, mm -hmm. and um, this freezed water start to melt mm -hmm. as it nature. Uh, when it's melt, so this water goes to the earth element, and earth element like it's nature. Earth become wet, human, full of water. Mm -hmm. So, and if we compare uh, dry earth and uh, full of water earth, the uh, earth's water will be more heavy. Mm -hmm. The same amount of, of earth will be much heavier, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's what we have in spring in our bodies, and. Um, that's why we feel heaviness, lazy, lazy, we become more lazy, we want to sleep, we feel like uh, less of energy, mm -hmm. and uh, people think that it's uh, because of um, lack of vitamins. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's lack of vitamins, but why? We should uh, understand why we get this lack of vitamins, because we the uh, had wrong food mm -hmm. in in the in winter time mm -hmm. so if we have a good diet during winter time we do, we are not tired during springtime we are full of energy as well as nature is uh, so it also depends on the body type mm -hmm. uh, some people can uh, feel this uh, heaviness little bit but if often if we follow the spring diet and spring uh, lifestyle it will be fine mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, everything will be will again balance will become balanced again mm -hmm. so spring uh, lifestyle is get up early uh, but anyway sleep well uh, do more physical activities, walkings, exercises, it's very important. So we call it more rough lifestyle, very rough lifestyle, mm -hmm. which is not allowed in the winter. So let's say that uh, the quality of the food should be rough, light and warm. Mm -hmm. So warm means it um, should be cooked. And also the quality of the food should be warm, not very, not take that very cold uh, fruits like which are brought from the mm -hmm. very hot countries. Mm -hmm. um, examples of rough food for meat, it's lamb and fish. Mm -hmm. For drinks, it's hot water. Uh, and also we should, um, based on the taste of the food, the tastes of the spring are chill, spicy, spicy, uh, spicy, bitter, and uh, astringent. So these two tastes should be a little bit more than on, in other seasons. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which grains are rough? Uh, or are good for to eat in spring? In spring, time. good of rice. Yeah, we should we should add some rough with spicy and astringent tastes. Mm -hmm. Rough and astringent. Rough and astringent give rough. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, for example, uh, beans. Mm -hmm. So kind of, uh, if I imagine it in a concrete way, I can have a plate full of rice, rice. and uh, some and legumes. Yes, and, and cooked vegetables, for example. Cooked vegetables, it will be perfect. And of course, you should add some spices, mm -hmm. but but too not too much, or it's also it depends on the personal like choice. Choice, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. If you used to eat very like spicy food, it's okay, but a little bit uh, spicy. It should be a little bit spicy in, in spring. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, mm, 
you should not uh, eat a lot of rough food because uh, uh, rough will make your wind uh, up. Arise. Yeah, mm -hmm. arise. So, and it's also not very good for digestion. Mm -hmm. So everything should be balanced. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what kind of fruits are good to eat for spring? Actually, in springtime, uh, we should eat more vegetables, mm -hmm. cooked vegetables. And Local vegetables, we can keep what, what we have from autumn mm -hmm. and also what we uh, grow in spring already, mm -hmm. grow in spring. Mm -hmm. So like uh, green vegetables, which uh, grow very fast. Mm -hmm. We have to add a lot of greens like pastry, basilic, mm -hmm. um, what else? Celery, 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 onion, mm -hmm. garlic. Yes, fresh herbs from from the garden. It will be perfect choice for the spring. Mm -hmm. And you should eat it like a lot. Add a lot of this green herbs uh, to the dish um, every day. Mm -hmm. So this is the main main source of vitamins. Mm -hmm. Main source of vitamins and uh, ele macro elements. Mm -hmm. And do you think that, for example, in springtime, such a typical breakfast are eggs with some vegetables and bread? Is it good to eat some yes, eggs in spring? Yes, it's, yeah. it's a good choice. Mm -hmm. If you add some, uh, again, this greens or herbs, some... Yeah, with some kind of salad and fresh herbs. Yes, fresh, fresh herbs. herbs. That's all be nice. Mm -hmm. So not, not this kind of uh, very typical... A breakfast like milk and cereals this is not very healthy actually this is horrible <laughs> breakfast because milk cold milk it's very heavy and very cold product mm -hmm. cereal also it's but cereal it's okay but when you if you cook it it i think it will be okay but mm -hmm. nobody cook it yeah it's and what about this kind of uh instant uh, whole grain uh, breakfast that you um, ha that you put uh, boiled water on it and they are not no milk you know they are just like kind of dried fruits nuts and for example uh, whole grain um, I don't know some other uh, if you for example if we compare or for, for yeah if we compare with um, Cereal, which usually is eaten with cold milk, mm -hmm. this one is much better. Mm -hmm. But if we compare with, um, the, for example, with oats, which uh, we have to cook, mm -hmm. so it's much better to use the oats of, uh, and cook it, mm -hmm. like for 20 minutes, at least mm -hmm. 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So not just add yes. water mm -hmm. and eat it and for spring it's also good these grains yes to yeah grains them. grains it's perfect mm -hmm. grains perfect actually grains are perfect breakfast for any season mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so and you can add uh, some honey for yes honey is one rough food more mm -hmm. honey mm -hmm. <laughs> especially honey from the uh, dry places Mm -hmm. Not from the wet places, from the humid places, mm -hmm. from the dry places. Mm -hmm. And um, if you add some honey to the, some nuts, whatever you want. So, oh, of course, you can add some green herbs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can add some spice. Some people eat uh, this cooked oats with spice. It's also good. Mm -hmm. It's it's very good combination. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's much better to cook, for example, this oats or whatever, without milk. Cook only use cook mm -hmm. with water. Add some butter, or, mm -hmm. or maybe if you live in the warm country in the south, you can add uh, olive oil. Mm -hmm. This is also yes. good. As much you eat local food, it's it's better. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like milk is not really healthy. How is it with milk? Actually, milk is very healthy food. 
but nowadays, um, because of this disbalance of the elements, people have problems with spleen, with pancreas. It's uh, full of this flame, full of uh, these two heavy elements, earth and water, especially of water element in the this uh, uh, two organs. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why people have a lot of problems with this digestive system. They have um, deficiency of these enzymes uh, mm -hmm. and cannot digest milk. Mm -hmm. um, and also because of this problem, also a lot of people have allergy now. It's also this oh, these two problems have one root, mm -hmm. and uh, that's why people cannot drink milk because drink is actually heavy and cold. Mm -hmm. But if you will eat, folks, if we will eat in the um, right way the whole year, all the time, so we will never have these problems and any time we can digest milk. Mm -hmm. Milk, we it's it's good product, but for now it's, it's impossible for many people for this reason because they cannot digest it, they cannot use it. Mm -hmm. And that's why this is because of this misunderstanding. Everybody say that, oh, it's bad food, you should, you should avoid this. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course, when you have this problem, you should avoid it. But if you, uh, even you avoid it, your health will never become better. So it's not the treatment of the, just to avoid this food, it's not the treatment uh, of this problem. Okay. So. And do you have some other tips what we should do during spring? Like, uh, maybe it looks like that we already know what to eat, but what to do, how to take care of our bodies, like in a different way. Do you have some other tips? First of all, we have to be more friendly to each other, to take care of each other, to be yeah, to be compassionate to each other. This is the, the main thing that we can do and we should do. It, it's, uh, but it's not only in spring, all the time. Because um, our mind, uh, our elements all the time depends on our emotions, first of all. So when we have a lot of emotions inside, even we don't show it to the others, they have like full, but inside we have like full emotions different. Our, all, our elements will all time be imbalanced. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but you were saying that if we always eat well uh, with all the elements that they would be balanced, we should be always healthy. But what about all these psychosomatic sicknesses and the emotions that, and these kind of bad patterns and bad thoughts in your mind? Even though I would be eating very well and mm -hmm. I would have kind of strict diet that would be well balanced, and I would know my body and the season mm -hmm. and the nature, but I would have some bad thoughts. It would also reflect in my body as a sickness, right? Well, yes, that's a good question. Yeah, of course, we all the time, of course, we have these connections because uh, the root of, for example, wind element is an emotion of uh, desire of our wishes, of our... Uh, the more strong desire we have, the more level of wind we will have. Mm -hmm. The root of um, fire element uh, is in our aggressive, like aggressive mind, aggressive uh, aggressiveness. Mm -hmm. And the root of uh, flame, so which uh, of two elements, uh, this earth and uh, water, the root of the heavy elements uh, lies in in, in ignorance. Mm -hmm. So um, 
So the, that's why Tibetan medicine considers that the main root of all diseases, of course, uh, is in our emotions. Mm -hmm. The more different emotions, more different like uh, wishes uh, or aggressive things we do, so the more problems we have, we will have, of course. This is uh, the main the main idea of the, the whole Tibetan medicine system. But of course, uh, we'll follow like uh, uh, good diet, good nutrition during the year. So the basic elements will be more or less balanced. Mm -hmm. So that means uh, that emotions also will be a little bit less than uh, when, for example, these elements will be imbalanced. Mm -hmm. Let me give me uh, like a, an example. Um, if so, we say that the root of the wind is in, in like emotion of desire of wish. Mm -hmm. So the more wish desire we have, the more level of wind we have. This is like on the one hand. On the other hand, so if we eat a lot of cold, cold raw food and drink cold drinks, cold water or whatever cold drinks, uh, the more level of wind also we will have. Mm -hmm. So and the more uh, the more level of wind we will have, so the more desire we will have. Mm -hmm. So this is like circle. Mm -hmm. It's multiplied. It will be very good to follow right nutrition. But of course, it's not enough to be completely balanced. If someone wants to be completely balanced, of course, uh, it's good not follow only right nutrition, life, uh, right lifestyle. It's also very important to... Um, Keep your mind healthy, healthy thoughts, healthy, not like think about health, but to think, um, to be compassion to others, to help each other, to think more about others than about uh, yourself, uh, to, to fool your mind with love to, to the not only to the human beings, but with all beings in the world and to the nature as well. So if we will um, like follow this idea, so our, our mind will become more calm. So we, we will never have this like horrible, different, horrible ideas. I want to do this or this, I want to go there. Or, uh, so we will never get these ideas. So, and this will help us to, to keep body balanced. So this is two things uh, to keep balanced. So my, my balanced mind and uh, balanced body. So we cannot uh, look at the body like from two different perspectives, mind and body. They're, they're like... They're, they're together. They're together, yes. They're connected, yeah. Of course. Okay, and uh, my last question would be concerning the coronavirus. Darima, could you give us some recommendations what to do during this situation? If you have some specific instructions for us, like concerning diet or like some... <clears throat> some special exercise or like activities or thoughts to think that you think it's good for us now during this specific uh, time? Actually, there is no specific advice, no specific. And uh, one thing that I want to say you that all these viruses will known in Tibetan medicine many, 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 many years before. So the 
Uh, it's written in the ancient textbooks of the writing that this is different viruses like will arise uh, and um, will will spread around the world. It's all written in the ancient textbooks. Uh, but as I said before, they are not new for our bodies. They existed for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. And it's much better not to fight with this, um, like virus or whatever. It's much better to prevent uh, this the spread, mm -hmm. of course. And to if we keep our body strong, which was we discussed before, so which is um, include healthy mind and healthy body, so we can prevent this disease. That's the idea that it will never kill us. Of course, everybody could be infected. For example, if we check all our bodies, we could be infected. But it doesn't mean that it, we get these infections from someone or from somewhere. It, well, it exists in our bodies all the time. But now the time, like, how to say it, the time came and uh, we discovered it. Mm -hmm. uh, and now we know how to check it. Now we know how, like, how this illness goes. Now we know, but it doesn't mean that it's very, very something new for us. What should we do? We should. Um, how can we prevent this uh, spread or not to be killed with this um, virus? We should. Um, make our immune system very strong. But the immune system never will become strong very shortly. This is long work. This is the work for the like for the whole year. So and slowly, slowly it will you will feel that your body and your mind become stronger and stronger. I have many patients in Russia who follow all these recommendations, within one year they all feel that they become stronger. And so that means they in not in need in medicine, they don't need like all, all time checking up, getting like self-sustainable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, they are not dependent on any medicine, they are strong enough to face Yes. All viruses yeah. and sicknesses because their immune system is just yeah. strong. Definitely. Okay. 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 Thank you, Darima. Do you have something else to say to us, or is it all that you wanted to share? I just want to add that uh, don't be panic too much. Even not not panic at all during these days. Uh, I. Anything that will, which have uh, begin, have end. Nothing exists forever. So it will finish one day. And I believe it will finish very soon. And uh, of course, uh, everybody should keep, um, have, have uh, this responsibility for themselves. This is uh, very important. And, um, but most important thing is to keep your mind healthy. You will, your mind will be healthy, your body will become more healthy, definitely. Okay, thank um, you for such a nice conclusion. And I would like, you. I would like to also thank our audience. Thank you, Darema, for sharing all of this information. It was very, very useful for us. <laughs> it was my pleasure to share this information with you, with everyone. <laughs> and I will be very happy if it will be helpful to the people. And uh, if you have any questions concerning this 
nutrition or whatever. So you can ask me, mm -hmm. follow me this, like all questions. Yeah, if uh, anybody from the audience has some questions, please contact Tibet Open House and we will send forward all your messages and your questions. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Thank you again. And yeah, thank you to you. I hope to see you again soon. <laughs> bye bye. bye.